This is going to come as no surprise, but I am starting out today by priming the eye area. This will act as a barrier and will prevent the natural oils that your eyes produce from breaking down the shadows throughout the day or night. I'm using a gorgeous eye and lip palette from Lancome today. I'd never used a makeup product from Lancome before, so I was really interested to see how this would perform. I'm beginning with the first shade in the palette and it's a matte skin tone shade for me. I'm using it to set that base in place to give me a nice even canvas to start out on. Then I'm going in with this golden brown shade and I'm starting to carve out the shape that I want. For today, and pretty much every other day, I want to elongate the eyes. So I'm pulling the shadow upwards and outwards and then feathering the colour inward from that line. I'm still using the pencil brush to do this because I have excess product still on the brush and I don't want to waste that. To apply the shadow in the crease, I'm using a fluffy blending brush and I'm sweeping the brush backwards and forwards until I've laid down the colour. Once the majority of the product is off the brush, I'm moving the brush up slightly higher and blending again just to make sure that we have no harsh lines. For the lid, I'm going to pack on this medium pinky purple shade. Instead of doing a bronze and gold smoky eye, I gravitated towards the plum tones in the palette because I thought it would be a little different and also because a few people had said to me that they wouldn't wear purple tones with a red lip, but the shades aren't very stark so you can definitely get away with it. To add some depth, I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette, which is this deep plum shade here, and I'm darkening the outer third of the eye using a pencil brush to do so. Use the shape of your brushes to your advantage. The pencil brush fits nicely on the outer corner of my eye, so I'm loading up the brush with product and then pressing the body of the brush down to distribute the product. To add some further sparkle to the look, I'm going in with this gold shade next and I'm just applying it around the tear duct of my eyes. I also wanted to add a subtle pop to the centre of the upper lid, so I'm applying that light shimmery pink just above my pupil. For the lower lash line, I'm starting out by smoking the medium pink shade all the way down along the lower lash line and then I'm going in with the darkest shade and blending that down too, but not down as far as the first shade. To line the eyes, I'm using this eyeliner from Physicians Formula. It's from their Green Eyes trio of eyeliners. I have blue eyes, but I mean a black is a black, so I'm just applying that. I added some lashes to glam the look up, and then I'm using a mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones, and then that completes the eyes. For the lips, I'm beginning with a red lip liner, and I'm just outlining my lips but not filling them in because I want the lipsticks in the palette to show up true to their colour. So I lined my lips because they are uneven and I find that I can apply lipstick more neatly once I've completed that step. So firstly I'm taking the lighter of the two shades of red in the palette and I'm applying this all over my lips. Then I'm going to create a very subtle ombre effect by applying the darker red just around the edges of both my top and bottom lip and then that finishes the look. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and easy to follow. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment and I'll see you in my next video.